miss what's the recipe. I give her like four, give me ten of these. She want the best of me. And pray that she. Pull it, I go la chala chala. Wanna pull up, wanna party. Joining me tonight, Grant Hill and Steve Smith. I'm Brian Anderson, along with reporter Ali LaForce. Still out of the lineup is Jalen Suggs. Now the starting group for the visitors. Royce O'Neal is out there with Nemanja Bialica. Then it's Kimba Walker. Then there's Cody Martin. And it's Herter in a shooting guard. Here's O'Neal to the inside. It's hauled in by Isaac. Here's Hampton. Pass to Anthony. And here's Isaac. Back to Anthony. Bamba, the screen on Walker. Three-pointer, Anthony. The putback. Oh, he hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. And now the game is really starting to flow. We should be in for a good one. How good is it to see the first one go through the net? Now here's Walker. He gets it in there. A crucial time of year for a lot of teams, Smitty, deciding whether to go all in on the playoff chase or look ahead to next season. I don't know, B.A. For me, it's all about trying to make the playoffs and win a championship. Yes, you can still keep an eye on the future when you're trying to win. Anthony against Walker for three. And it's Bamba finishing strong. Great work to clear some space around the rim and set himself up for that putback. Yes, sir. That was a huge follow. Back to Herter. Outside Walker. Count it. Walker's got his second bucket. And the contact not bothering Walker there at all. Clearly one of the more focused players in the game. Anthony outside. Three-pointer, no good. Here in the first quarter, with about two minutes gone by. Martin, the pass to Herter. And that one goes in as he's fouled. It'll be three points if he converts the free throw. Well, I know you spent a lot of your career in Orlando. What are your favorite memories of that time? None, B.A. You know I was hurt the entire time while I was in Orlando. No, but in all seriousness, they were great people, great city, and it was fun to see young guys like Jameer Nelson and Dwight Howard get drafted and emerge as great players and leaders for their ball club. With size in the backcourt, it's such an advantage. Kevin Herter is 6'6 with a long frame. Here's Anthony, and another basket for Orlando. Hey, that right there was a lot of confidence, given the size of the disadvantage there. But also a lot of skill. This is exactly the type of thing you practice for over and over again. Now here's Anthony. Ross finds Anthony. And it's good. Two points. Anthony's got his second basket of the night. Great vision there from Ross to find the open man. Left side, Walker. And that makes him three for four. He's looking good. That's three out of four now, and you can see his confidence already building. About three minutes gone in the first quarter. Back to Anthony. Bamba, a screen on Walker. Three-pointer, Anthony. O'Neal pulls it in. He's been off this whole period, unable to sustain any kind of consistency. Bielita, the pass to Martin. Here's O'Neal. Bielita outside. Out of bounds. It'll be Orlando's ball. So a moment now to see the story for Kevin Herter. Now Anthony to the paint. And it's Bamba finishing strong. One sign of a great playmaker hitting his man in stride. Pass to Herter. Good. And it's Walker who picks up the assist. Herter's got five. Finding makeable shots. Kevin Herter continuing to become more efficient as a scorer. 
Ross with it. Unloads from 13. Offensive board. Count the basket. Well, plenty of give and take so far. The six lead changes already. Both teams came to play. Herder passes to Bielitsa. Here's Ross. That one a little long. And here's Herder. He's got five. Outside Walker. From behind the arc. The rebound by Bamba. Bamba's got his fourth rebound in this one. Pass to Anthony. Now here's Isaac. Anthony outside. Launches a three. The shot comes out. The green light they gave him early should probably turn red. He needs to get others involved. And he might not be the biggest guy on the court, but Cole Anthony is explosive, Greg. He is. I mean, he surprises you with how much lift he gets. Fearless when he's going at the rim. He's caught a number of defenders off guard with that burst. Isaac. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. It's going to be on Cody Martin. Yeah, you never want to let shots at the rim go uncontested. Jonathan Isaac. Two shots. First one falls for him. A big group substitution here for Orlando. Lopez, he's checked in for Bamba. Carter comes in for Hampton. Franz Wagner checked in for Ross. And it's Fultz in for Anthony. Hits one, then misses the second attempt from the line. And another miss by Orlando. And they've come out with a fearless approach on the boards. Griffin with it. Jones in the post. Isaac covering. Here's Griffin. No good off the back of the rim. Missing that one helps out all the analytical guys from the mid-range. Here's Fultz. And it's blocked by Martin. Isaac against Griffin. The leaner. It's hauled in by the Magic. They're coming off a loss against Miami. And just far too many turnovers. You can't expect to win if you can't protect the ball. Aggressive is one thing. Careless is another. You want to stay balanced and poised. We've seen that more than once today. An effortless basket inside. Two minutes remaining in the third. Two minutes. Jones against Fultz. To end the drought. And it's laid in by Jones. And despite the size mismatch, getting a little aggressive down there in the paint. Proving once again that when you attack with confidence, good things tend to happen. Now here's Isaac. Two shots, two makes. Off to a good start. Credit their discipline. They've been working for high percentage shots. Martin, the pass to Cousins. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. Strong move by Cousins. You see why he's been averaging seven to eight free throws a game over the past few seasons. The first free throw is good. That one falls, so he hits both of them. One of the more controversial players in the game. What's amazing through all the scrutiny is the consistency of Cousins' production. Now here's Carter. Well, he hasn't put up any points yet in this one. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. 
<laughs> Man, he made sure to get his money's worth on that foul. At the line for Orlando, Marquette full. At the line for two. And he drops the first. Hampton's checked in for Isaac. That one's no good. 107 left in the first. Griffin finds Martin. Up top, Cousins. On the wing, Jones. Back to Cousins. Pass to Griffin. Four on the clock. Basket's good. Griffin, assisted by DeMarcus Cousins. Orlando leading. Up top, Fultz. Defended by Jones. Good work there as it goes. That lack of defensive intensity is not going to stop a player of his caliber from scoring. Martin, the pass to Griffin. And Griffin slams it in. I saw that one in Griffin's eyes. He was ready to throw that one down. Jones against Fultz. Over Jones. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. It goes on Tyus Jones. At the line for the Magic. Mark full. And the first one at the line is good. Shots good from the strike. Here's Walker. He's got six. 20 seconds left to play in the first. Uses the glass to finish the layup. They've now had assist on each of their last three buckets. Here's Fultz. Opening close, and he drops it in. Fultz has got seven points. This team looks to him to score the ball. They feel good when he's taking the shots. Outside Craig. Back to Walker. Up in time. He got it up in time, but it would not fall for him. And at the end of one, both teams putting up some points. Magic out front. They're up by three. And we'll be back in just a minute with the start of the second quarter. And getting it going again here in the second quarter. Fairly close game so far. All right, guys, what do you think about the magic here in this one? Well, it looks like hitting the boards hard was an emphasis of their attack. They knew how valuable it was to do so. And they have the guys to do it. Play to your strengths, and they can make up for some of your weaknesses. Kemba Walker's out there with Kevin Herter. Then there's Cody Martin, then it's Torrey Craig, and it's Griffin in at the center position. This has been a close game in a lot of ways, but they do have an edge on the board. Oh, not the defensive effort they need to cut into the lead. Well, good call. You have to at least try to protect the rim. Also, if you can't get stops at this point, it really doesn't matter what you do at the offensive end. Parked it down low that time. Got hit with the three-second call. And taking a broader look here at the year-over-year -year scoring trend for Kimball Walker. And when you look at his offensive output over the past few years, it seems like other teams have figured him out and have his number now. He's having to put in a lot more effort on the offensive end, but without producing nearly the same results. Bogner outside. Down low. Ooh, Griffin with the steal. Walker finds Craig to the middle. And that one is stuffed right through. Going hard to the rim. That's what you like to see from Herter. Not just hanging out at the three-point line. Second quarter of basketball. About a minute played so far. Here's Hampton. Pass to Bamba. Here's Ross. Back to Bamba. Here's Hampton. Walker covering. And here's Ross. 
Shot clock at five for three. Hampton. And they recover it. Bamba inside. Herder defending. And another shot. Bamba misses. Everything right except the finish. Have to keep focus all the way through the play. Griffin passes to Craig. It's hauled in by the Magic. Bamba's got his seventh rebound of the game with that last one. And let's send it over to Allie LaForce. Well, guys, it's a new day in Orlando. Magic head coach Jamal Mosley continues to lay the foundation for the team they want to be. A, quote, tough-talking, tied-together defensive team that plays offensively with pace, space, and the pass. Brian, say that five times fast. <laughs> well done, Allie. Thank you. Uh, it'll be fun to watch him build. He's checked in for Wagner, and Anthony subbed in for Hampton. And when you're trying to slow down a top scorer, often the game plan is to get physical. Grant, you would know better than anybody. What's it like in the trenches here? Well, B.A., it's interesting. I mean, it can wear on you. It's a mental challenge. When you're in the trenches trying to slow down a great offensive player, it really becomes a battle of wills. You have to stay focused. You have to be disciplined. And most importantly, you just cannot take a playoff and allow a great player to get going. Here's O'Neal. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. Almost converts despite the contact. All right, a look at how the points have been generated so far. A scoring breakdown for the Magic. For me, they made a point to attack inside early in the game, and it's paid off for them. A lot of solid looks in the paint. Yeah, they've also had a great deal of second chance points tonight. Great job finding the offensive board and then converting on those extra tries. O'Neal on the wing. Bielica against Bamba. Always a nice way to start. Makes his first one. All five guys are in sync. Their ball movement is flawless. Isaac outside. This one for three. He can't get it to go. Carter against Griffin. Chalk up two there. Griffin's got six. When Blake sees a lane to the basket, it looks like his eyes lights up and he attacks. After the outside. Picked by Carter. 16 feet out. And the Magic again can't hit. You kind of wonder where his head's at. The shot selection hasn't been there. And of course, that one was just crazy. And they take the lead. Bielitsa's got his second basket of the game. And the action on hold. It appears there's been an injury. Yep, he's definitely in a bad way out there right now. Man, that's tough to see. And you guys know that this is something every player worries about. No matter your age or your ability. It's an unfortunate part of the game. Our thoughts and prayers are with him. The Magic making a switch here. Fultz is checked in. Pass to Bamba. Inside. Here's Carter. And he buries his first look. Way to rise to the occasion and snatch back the momentum. That's the competitor in him. Close game. Let me have this one. Now here's Herter. He has seven. O'Neal misses. Isaac for three. Rebounded by Bielica. Pass to Griffin. And that one goes out of bounds. Last touch by Griffin. Careless turnover. You lose focus for even a moment in this league. That's the result. Lopez, he's checked in for Orlando. Here's Fultz. He has seven. Here's Ross. Fires the three. Rebounded by Cousins. It's tough to get open in this league, and when you do, it hurts not to capitalize. Herder with it. Picked up by Ross. Bielita. Martin finds Jones. Shoots over Fultz. Jones misses. 
Orlando leading. Outside Fultz, 13 feet out. No good. That's his third miss out of five attempts. Fultz has gone two of five from the floor. Pass to Martin. Lays it up and in, despite excellent defense. Their offense is really humming right now, and it's because of the beautiful ball distribution. Now here's Isaac. The three. And it's Martin with the rebound. Now Bielitsa. Now Cousins. Covered by Lopez. Cousins, the pass to Martin. There's the drive. Two shots, two makes. Off to a good start. Just so successful getting the ball inside and finding those great looks. They're searching for a way to score. Yeah, buckets have been very tough to come by. Ross can't get it to go. The struggle is real. He's been way off with this shot all evening long. Here's Jones. Nice. Gets his second bucket. He's two for four now. <laughs> I just love the ball move. Orlando calls timeout. Yeah, hoping to tap into something that'll get them clicking. Yeah, these guys need to work together as a team, as a unit. Try and carve out some easy buckets. So for the Magic, Wagner comes in for Carter. And Hampton is subbed in for Ross. And here's Fultz. Seven points in the game. Pass to Wagner. Now Lopez. And it's Lopez with the jam. You love the way Robin Lopez just goes after those missed shots. That's where he can do damage. Cousins with it. Here's Jones. Goes back up. Martin with the bucket. Martin's got six points. The defense getting out-hustled on the putback. Can't let that happen. For some reason, blocking out has become a lost art, and that's the result you'll get. Fultz can't get it to go. Fultz is gone just two of six shooting. 33%. Cousins finds Craig. Jones from outside. Doesn't go that time. His inability to make shots has not brought this team down. That shows you their resourcefulness. Fultz against Jones. Fultz passes to Wagner. Shot clock at six. Jacks up a three. Jones grabs the board. And one of the reasons they're down right now is because they've fallen in love with the jump shot. Martin, and he gets the bucket. Give him eight. Impressive. I mean, challenging at the rim against length. You just have to love the aggressiveness. And let's forget the height disadvantage. He brings the effort, and he brings the energy. And there's a defensive three-second call. So he hits the technical free throw. So it's Orlando now. Isaac with a screen on Jones. Shot from 12. Rebounded by Cousins. Yeah, it just hasn't been able to find his rhythm offensively. And that's having a ripple effect. From 11 feet away, Craig, no good. Orlando trailing here. You'd like to let the clock run and take the final shot. Yes, you do, but it's a dilemma. If you get a great look earlier in the clock, do you take it? And the Magic, again, can't hit. Barton finds Craig. Here's Jones. 
And they pick up two. Jones has gotten four this quarter. Attacking the defense with the pass. Don't need to be a hero. And that'll do it for the first half of play. They lead by eight. All right, now let's check in with Allie LaForce. Allie, what do you have? Thanks so much, Kemba. An impressive first half of basketball. What was the difference? Just playing hard, playing with effort from the very beginning. You know, we had great intensity. Our togetherness was on another level, the way we came to the plan. So that was the difference. Togetherness, what a cool way to describe it. Guys. All right, Allie, thanks for that. We will see everyone right back after this break, ready for the second half. And we welcome you to halftime. First order of business, time to take stock of the all-star voting. All-star voting this early is just a popularity contest. Guys who are well-known and guys who are good with social media. All of that is true, Shaq. Moving on. In that first half of basketball, things are looking pretty good for the visiting team. Their passing was clearly superior in the first half. They were playing a team game, not one-on-one -on -one basketball. Good player movement, good ball movement, and they have a healthy lead to show it. Thanks for joining us. Time to head back over to the third quarter with Brian Anderson. If you just join it in, one half is in the books. One half to go. How about Kimba Walker? Strong contribution so far in this one. Through the first two quarters, he's been on fire. Explosive offensive performance. This is his challenge to continue to dominate, to help them try to close strong here in the second half. A moment here for an injury report. Now for an update on Cole Anthony's injury, let's go to Ali LaForce. Thanks, guys. I got a status report from the Magic's head athletic trainer. As of right now, he's calling it a severely sprained ankle, which I'm sure isn't what coach wanted to hear. And the outlook is pretty dire. He said the injury will need treatment and rehab, and that it looks like the road to recovery could be a long one. All right, Allie, good stuff there. Always on top of it. Yeah, I mean, it's just crazy. Even with the advancements in strength training, injuries continue to impact the game. And we're seeing that across all sports. Guys are just getting bigger, faster. The human body can take only so much. Mo Bamba out there with Jonathan Isaac. Then it's R.J. Hampton. Then there's Markel Fultz. And it's Ross in at the three spot. So that's who Jamal Mosley starts the second half with. Pass to O'Neal, out of bounds, it'll be Orlando's ball. And here's a look at what's coming up for the Orlando Magic. On Saturday, they'll go up against Gordon Hayward and the Charlotte Hornets. And then on Tuesday, they'll go back home and will be hosting the Detroit Pistons. And looking at the Wizards matchup, no question they'll be amped for that one. Eager to prove themselves against a tough opponent. Fultz can't get it to go. Fultz has gone three of nine shooting. Pass to O'Neal, to the paint. The kick out to Walker. Over Bamba. Off the left rim and out. And Orlando has possession. Six point game, Isaac outside. And here is Bamba. There's the three. Walker pulls down the board. Third quarter of play with just over one and a half minutes gone by. Bielitsa is good. Bielitsa's got six points. They have no answer defensively inside. Bielitsa's gone three for three from the floor. Now here's Fultz. He's got nine. To the middle. Here's Isaac. And the dunk by Isaac. Hey, kept it simple. No reason to get fancy right now, B.A. Yeah, he's just looking to find shots and produce for his team. He's checked in for Isaac. And the Eastern Conference has been great to watch so far. Here's how things are shaken up midway through the season. They're in first place right now with a tremendous record. They're certainly the team to beat. And check it out, Orlando. Not posing much of a threat right now.
Two minutes gone in this third quarter now. Griffin outside. Here's Martin. And the bucket counts. And he is on his way to the line. He'll try to make it a three-point play. Shooting for the away team. Cody Martin. At the line for one. Orlando has possession. Here's Fultz. Oh, and he brings it down with a two-handed jam. Oh, wait. Big finish. Big time. And man, did they need that. You can tell he's trying to get him going with that dunk. You're totally right. That can be a shot in the arm for them. A spark that turned things around. Now here's Fultz. 11 points in the game. Pass to Bamba. Back to Fultz. Doesn't go for him. Walker with some nice D. It's Martin on the wing. Guarded by Ross. And Griffin slams it in. Against physical defense, Griffin showing off his power. Nice play. Second half of play, and we're three minutes into the third here. Here's Hampton. Herder defending. Left side Fultz. And it's slammed in by Carter. Right there, Carter using his instincts and motor to track down the miss and convert into second chance points. Now here's Herder. Seven points in the game. Pass to Martin. Let's the three fly. Knocks down the long J. Martin's got eight. And just executing at a high level. I mean, taking what the defense allows and putting in the work. The reason why they stayed aggressive and they have not let up this entire night. And at this point, I wouldn't expect them to. And the lob disrupted. Not to be. In transition. Back to Griffin. Now here's Herder. Sinks it from distance. He's got 10. The assist numbers certainly stand out. They've really emphasized ball movement here today. It's Hampton on the wing. Outside Carter. It's Ross on the wing. And he can't answer back. The three-pointer offline. Pass to Herder. And here's Martin. And that one falls. His fifth basket in seven tries. Here in the second half, they've just found better shots. For them, the first time half time was time maybe time more time of time a filling-out process. Started. Now it's winning time. Let's go now to the sideline and catch up with Ali LaForce. Well, the league and the world have endured tremendous challenges in recent years. Commissioner Silver said, quote, we found a way to keep going under very difficult circumstances. It required enormous diligence. To keep playing throughout the pandemic, we are particularly proud of that. Brian? Hey, the show must go on. Thanks, Allie. Lopez, he's checked in for Orlando. Franz Wagner comes in for Ross. On defense, the visiting team. Fultz passes to Wagner. Will it go? And he sinks the layup. Wagner's got his first points in this one. I'd like to see them run more plays for him. Maybe something in motion to make it harder for the defense to deny the ball. And Franz Wagner, one of the surprises of the 2021 rookie class. He had a great rookie campaign. One of a handful of terrific rookies. Now here's Fultz. He's got 11. Wagner outside. Back to Fultz. Just five on the clock. Here's Hampton. From downtown. 
Walker pulls down the board, and Wagner wasn't viewed as an exciting selection. He's been terrific, Grant. B.A., you know, he finds ways to contribute each game. You knew he'd be a solid shooter out of the gate, but he also has a great touch in and around the paint to be a threat inside. Here's Hampton, pass to Carter, Wagner outside. Now here's Fultz, defended by Jones. Craig with a steal. And here they come. Griffin passes to Martin. Yep, that one goes. Martin's got 10 points in the game. And another great assist. The offense is really clicking now. Offensively, it's been a struggle for him. Yeah, they need to string together some shots to have any kind of chance. Trying to take advantage of soft defense, he might have gotten over eager. Jones finds Griffin. Orlando foul. The Magic making a switch here. Isaac's checked in. Second team foul. Coming on the floor for your Magic, Jonathan Isaac. Right side Jones. Here he goes. And the layup falls. Ten points for him. Defensively, they've got to get more bodies in the paint. That's three straight field goals from below the free throw line. Out to the right wing. Pass to Hampton. To stop the run. And Craig pulls it down. He's kind of lost his way this period, having a hard time getting anything to go down. Martin, the pass to Walker. Outside Jones. Outside Craig. It's hauled in by Isaac. Isaac's got four rebounds now. He really can't buy a bucket, but his teammates have his back. Back to Hampton. Five on the clock. Lopez, the screen. And another miss by Orlando. Something's off about him this quarter. And it also shows you how difficult this game is. He's just a little bit off, but it can result in missing everything. Now here's Jones. Shot clock and game clock separated by less than six seconds. Here's Walker. That one goes in. Walker's got 10 points in the game. Oh, inside Kimber relies on his agility. That's how he beats the bigger guys to find those shots. B.A., the one-hand dunk just looks so fluid. Yeah, absolutely. Even smooth when he's powering it home like that. And as we conclude the third, pretty much a blowout here. It's been a one-sided affair. Delivering the blowout. And time for a short break. Stay right there. The fourth quarter is coming up next. And it's time now to bring you our State Farm assist to the game. You know, I'm kind of stoked this was a choice because I love this pass. A remarkable find. He put his court vision on full display. Yeah, you also have the location of the pass. Puts it right where it needs to be, where his man can do something with it. And as we head into the fourth, we'll see if there's a comeback in the works or if it's more of the same for the first three quarters. We've got Kevin Herter, Nemanja Bialica out there with Cody Martin. Then it's DeMarcus Cousins, and it's Jones in at the one. Great job on the back end of the play. Yep, finished with both hands, making sure of it. Now here's Cousins. Here's Herter. Here's Bialica. And terrific work on the offensive glass as he picks up the deuce. And they're plus five on the boards after that rebound. Here's Hampton. Wagner outside. Hey, we've heard a lot of coaches say, including Warriors coach Steve Kerr, about load management. If you want to see the Stars play more often, cut the schedule back. Maybe 72 games. Grant, your thoughts? You know, B.A., this is a problem and a concern, I think, for the league. You go back 20, 30 years ago, stars played every night when available. Now you're not seeing that with the workload and the back-to-back -back and the concern with players and their safety and the amounts of money they make over their contracts. 72 games is a possibility, but I prefer to keep it at 82. Maybe I'm just a traditionalist. Carter, he's checked in for Wagner. 
And he makes the first, but misses the second. Here's Hampton, defended by Jones. Pass to Bamba from the arc. Rebounded by Bielitsa. Bielitsa's got five rebounds in the game. Here's Jones from deep. The rebound by Bamba. Isaac outside. Ross for three. They grab their own miss. Second chance shot. And Isaac finishes inside. Offensive rebounding is all about wanting it. Fantastic effort there, leading to second chance points. Martin finds Bielitsa. Outside Jones. From outside the arc. The shot no good. Now Orlando takes it the other way. Down low. Here's Carter, and it's slammed in by Carter. With a nine-foot standing reach, Carter has no trouble putting that away. Bielitsa, that's good. And it gets even worse for them. I mean, he just waltzes down the lane, extending their advantage. Uh, not good. A uncontested shot at the rim. You have to compete at all times. Here's Hampton, outside Ross. A touch under two and a half minutes have passed now here in the fourth. And the baseline jumper, no good. A nice rebound. Trying to match the other team's intensity right now. And Grant, as NBA players start to have more of a platform, we still hear those who say, shut up and dribble. What are your thoughts about this? I think it's silly and it's unfortunate. And if you don't like it, then change the channel. But players today, matter of fact, everybody today has a voice through their social media channels. And it just so happens that NBA players have large platforms that reach people all over the world. Yeah, don't expect the players to be anything other than themselves. Here's Hampton. Pass to Isaac. Outside Ross. Takes the three. Gets the three ball to go. Ross has got five points now this quarter. Shut out from beyond the arc in the first period. He finally drains one. Yep, that one goes. Showing he can be a primary scorer in this league. Kevin Herter has been roasting them all night. Now Carter. Here's Hampton. Three-pointer. Here's Bamba, and it's Bamba finishing strong. Making the most of the second chance opportunity. Hey, the hustle is real, and the hustle is rewarded. And now let's take a look at the New Balance player of the game. What an unbelievable offensive performance from him tonight. I mean, it's been crazy fun to watch him just, just go off. I mean, the defense had no chance. He just kept scoring over and over again. O'Neal, he's checked in for Cousins. Boy, you love how guys are making plays for one another here. Yeah, just a balanced attack, a total team effort. O'Neal misses. Trying to close out. You got to know who's hot and who's not. Isaac finds Ross. Let's it go from deep. They get it again. Carter, soft touch off the glass. And force feeding the ball inside. I mean, no reason to go away from what's working. Outside Jones. Bielita, the pass to Jones. Tries again. And it's good on the lay-in. Bielita's got six points in the quarter. Adding to this lead, he's been dependable and consistent at the offensive end. Here's Hampton to the inside. Here's Carter. And it's slammed in by Carter. Hey, win in doubt. Run the defender off the screen. And you know, with a result like that, we'll see them run it again. 
especially if the defense is going to allow you to do it. Have to switch on that play. Here's Jones following the bucket by the Magic. Ross with it. To the middle. And there's Bamba on the assist by Ross. And he's now got the double-double. You like how Ross was looking around on that play to find the best shot available. Herter passes to Bielitsa. Martin with the ball. Isaac covering. Outside Herter. Martin finds Herter. Into the lane. That's basket number six in eight tries. Physical D right there. But Herter's mentally tough. Never lost focus. Pass to Carter. Here's Hampton. Inside. And stolen by Jones. Here's O'Neal. And he goes up strong with a one-handed jam. Really feels like they're in control. They've got a big lead with time dwindling. Reason why they've tightened up the vice grip a little more each time up the floor. We'll see if they can close this one out. Orlando calls timeout. They're behind by 17. There's a minute 54 left in the game. Fultz, he's checked in for Orlando. There's a minute 54 left in the final quarter. And once again, off the mark by Orlando. Boy, this could snowball if they continue to put up points. I can't say enough about their performance. Here's O'Neal. Orlando grabs the miss. Bamba's got his 16th rebound on the night. Here's Hampton. And he converts the layup. Hampton's got four points this quarter. He gets inside right when he sees the opening. Gotta attack when you have that chance. Herder passes to Bielitsa. Goes up at the stripe. And it's Orlando with a rebound. Carter's got eight rebounds in the game. And here are the Magic now. Outside Fultz. Here's Hampton. They shoot again. And the layup by Bamba. And lately, this guy is finding points. I mean, just a beautiful second chance bucket right there. That's a carryover from the way he played in their last game. All out energy plays on his way to a huge performance. Now here's Ross. Fires for three. Pure from three point range. One positive takeaway, at least they're finally showing signs of life out there. They put together some great possessions here at the end. It's a shame they could have used this run much earlier. Up top, Walker, hounded by Fultz. Down to five on the shot clock. And Walker with the three. Exchanging buckets from downtown. That's been a staple of tonight's game. Hey, players love competition. And the fans love it as well. First personal foul. First team foul. At the line for Orlando, Markel Full. At the line for two. The first one falls. It's both from the stripe. The visitors with the ball. They lead by 11. Outside Herter. Now Walker. The visiting club takes the win on the road. Exceptional effort on the road. They were ready and they were focused. Focused indeed. I mean, it takes a strong mental approach to block out the distractions. These guys stepped up 100%. Well, now we have some time to check in with Allie LaForce. Allie. Thank you, guys. Kemba it took everyone to get it done tonight. How are you guys able to close this one out? 
This was an unbelievable team effort. Every man that got in this game tonight played a huge role in this win. We executed our game plan, and I thought we did a great job tonight. I'm sure it's so rewarding to see everybody contribute. Thanks, Kemba. All right, Allie, good stuff there. Thanks for that. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. For Grand Hill, Steve Smith and Allie LaForce, this is Brian Anderson. Thanks for watching tonight's game. So long, everybody.